What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in a new game. Uh, you guys probably have seen a, a fair amount of people have been playing this recently, but it, uh, this is a pretty cool building game called Rover Builder and uh, we're going to start a new career here, but basically what you have to do is build rovers that can complete various levels and there's, you know, walls you've got to smash through and uh, apparently sometimes you've got to like pick up objects, I think, or do something with a crane type arm. But uh, regardless, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna start with mission number one here and we're gonna build rovers. Now I know a lot of different people have been playing this game, but I think what I'm gonna do is just try and make like the most ridiculous suspension types that I can think of. Uh, because this game, the way you build, it's it's quite different from Scrap Mechanic, but you can see there, we can just sort of click and drag at, uh, you know, 45 degree angles with blocks. And then of course with suspension, it's actually the same thing. We can take it, uh, oh, okay, I guess I have to have steel first. But we can take our suspension piece here and uh, we can just drag it off there. And you see we have really just free range of motion with suspension. So I think we're going to try and just make a, a vehicle with some interesting suspension types. So we have to go in that direction. So on the back, I think we're going to do something relatively simple, but we'll just do some sort of basic uh, cantilever type suspension. So we'll just drag ourselves a little bit of a frame here. We'll go axle out there, axle out there. Okay, and then we're gonna go steel like this off the axle in one direction. And that'll go to the one wheel. And then this way, same thing. And that'll go to the other wheel. And this will go like this. And this will go like that. Just like super crazy, because why not? Okay, and then we'll go like this. See, perfect. Okay, and now we should be able to uh, just like that. Yeah. So like, if we start and uh, this should hit the ground. Yeah, and that's gonna that's gonna flex. Okay, so now we can put some wheels on the back there, return to garage here. Uh, and we're just gonna put some extenders on the sides. It's got definitely a lot of depth to it in terms of like what you can build. I mean, it's relatively uh, simple, the amount of stuff you have. We've got pistons, springs, axles. So basically axles would be your bearings and springs would be your suspension and pistons would be, well, your pistons. Uh, I don't really know the difference between the link and steel yet. I think a link is sort of free floating and steel is not, but uh, we're gonna have to see here. I might have to put more suspension on this. We gotta do the front section now. I realize I made that a little bit long. It's, it's gonna be quite long, but uh, that's okay. And uh, to do the front section, we have to do some steering too. But on the front, I think what I wanna do is uh, some really, some really simple, just uh, double wishbone suspension with steering linkages. Because, I mean, you know, the double wishbone's pretty cool. It's a it's a very common method now in Scrap Mechanic. A lot of people know how to use it. And uh, it's definitely it's definitely a useful thing. And I thought, you know, if we do it in this, I mean, let's see if it even works. But let's, let's try this. So the double wishbone is just like two stacked axles, right? And then uh, like this. Okay, perfect. And then we need some steel beams coming off here. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, it's going to be interesting. It'll probably take a little bit of a kick. When it, uh, when it first starts, because that uh, front suspension will flex a lot, but that's okay. And then we'll, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, I might have to drop the back end of down a little bit, but we'll see there. Okay, so let's just put more axles on this thing here. And uh, like this. And like that. And hopefully I can connect this steel piece to that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so if I've done this right, now we can just put suspension. Let's mount some, let's make some mount points here for this. Let's just go out to, whoops. It is a very good builder. I just suck. Uh, like it, it's really intuitive in the sense that, you know, WASD walks you around and then, uh, you know, you can hold your middle mouse button to, to adjust your zoom and stuff. So it is very intuitive. I'm just, I'm just not very good at handling controls. Um, okay, I think that's like, maybe that'll work. Is that? Can I, can I test that? I mean, it should, in theory. Let's go out this way and put the axle next to it. I, I honestly haven't really paid too much attention about how this is set up in a real car. Um, and uh, I probably should. Although I don't really know. Oh, oh, can I go down? Can I, I can't go down, eh? Alrighty, well, let's just uh, move along over here. Okay, and then the steel plate will still extend backwards. And we can mount our wheels to that. And we'll extend it out and mount the wheel right there. 
This is good too, because now the wheel's actually lined up. Okay, perfect. So, if we deploy... Man, that front end goes, like, super wide. We can almost put, like, dualies in the back. Alright, let's put dualies in the back, because, uh... Clearly, we've got lots of space. Can I actually double up wheels? Oh, I don't know if I can. Hold on. Can I build a steel beam coming out of this wheel, though? Oh, no, I can't do that either. All right, well, then the only other way to do it is to do this. This is going to look super uh, rover-like, I think, because we're just going to have this crazy... Yeah, perfect. I, I just really want, like, super wide dualies in the back. I feel like, you know, the extra power isn't going to hurt. Look at that. That's going to be awesome. It'll all be hooked up to that same suspension. We'll just, uh, we'll, we might have to beef that suspension up. Oh, yeah, this thing's, this thing's going to be great. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to beef that suspension up. Okay, all right. So now our back suspension is completely rigid. That's, this looks sick. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go... So now we just got to finalize the steering mechanism and then we're pretty much good to go. So steering in this game is uh, a little bit different than other games. Steering, you have to actually make a sort of uh, steering rack per se because the steering is just a, a piece that moves along a steel beam. So I'm going to need to mount that right in here somewhere. So we're going to go out like this. And we're going to go out like that. And then across. Right, so now we've got this cross beam underneath there. And then our steering piece actually just mounts onto this like so. If it'll let me. Too close. Really? Is it? Well... All right, so I had to do a little bit of redesigning because I realized I put the rover body too close. But basically what we've got here is we've got the double wishbone on the front here. You can see by these these two bars going up with these single suspension pieces attached to those. So those should keep the wheels parallel. And then we've got these two steering linkages which come down on either side. And uh, that will push when this little device moves left or right, that will push these wheels left or right. And then on the back, we've just got way too many wheels with some crazy sort of cantilever almost type suspension where we've got a pivot point here and it'll kind of push on this angle. So hopefully this rover will pretty much conquer just about anything these first couple worlds will throw at us. So let's uh, let's just try this here. Oh boy, that um, it definitely it definitely collapses. I mean, it definitely works. The, uh, the double wishbone is not ideal in this game. I don't know if this thing is so bouncy, but it turns. I mean, look, we can see there it's pushing. No problem. And it does turns, but it's definitely bouncy. It's, uh, it's very, oh man, look at the, yeah, it does, it does not like the, uh, oh, hello. Blow back wheels. Hi. Do you want to, do you want to not? Oh, the suspension imploded. Oh, it's imploded. Okay, hold on. We need a hard stop. So we need to do this. And go across like that, and then this, and go across like that. And those should be our hard stops to prevent that from pushing past that midpoint. And uh, the floppiness on the front will just fix with another set of springs. Alright, we should be good. Hopefully. I mean, this should work, right? Pivot there, that's steel mounted. Yeah, no good. Horizontal pivot stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, turn. To the left, perfect. Turn to the right, awesome. It's looking good. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely squishy. I mean, I don't think the game necessarily likes, um, likes complicated suspension. I'm definitely gonna try other types of suspension too. Uh, my, my double wishbone mechanism though might be just slightly flawed because I did use it on a 45 degree angle maybe i have to build it horizontally but you know what for now we're going to try this rover out so we're going to uh, take her onto the onto the terrain here and uh we'll see how she does in the world all right come on teleport all right let's do this i mean it's definitely it's definitely fluffy suspension it did fluffy that's such a weird way to describe it but i mean we can see here just just you know it just takes these bumps no problem I mean, look at that. It just, it completely hugs the train. But those wheels, those uh, double wishbone, maybe they need a hard limit too. 
and that would fix the problem. But I mean, look, we're gonna we're gonna beat this no problem. Time taken one minute thirty six seconds. All right, let's go on to the next mission. And uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, seeing as how the first mission's pretty easy, and the second mission seems to be uh, more of just driving. You know, we've got to go around some craters in here. We're gonna use the same rover to do the second mission, except. I'm gonna put a hard limit on the front, so we're just gonna we're gonna spawn in that rover here. Perfect. I really like this, but I'm gonna hard limit these front ones. It seems the front, uh, the front little double wishbone mechanism here was uh, going too close together, and it was causing this weird like you know bottoming out thing to happen. So let's see if we can just hard limit this, just like that. Yeah, and we'll turn that into like some sort of a little bit of a push bumper. Looks awesome. All right, this is looking good. We got hard limits on the back, hard limits on the front, and uh, we're going to uh, just uh, go ahead and try this next mission out. Definitely getting some aggressive camber on those front wheels. All right, here we go down this hill. Oh yeah, that's that's much better with that hard limit because then they can't go. I don't think I got it stuck though. No, they'll. St oh god, the wheels just imploded outwards. I think the game doesn't appreciate the uh, the double wishbone mechanism as much as Scrap Mechanic does, but uh, just conquering everything. All right, can I can I rotate my camera here? Okay, yeah, no, it's good. Let's go this way. Uh, we're oh, we got to go up over here. Okay, come on, look at that. It's hilarious. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely imploding. So uh, I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below if you want uh, you want us to be trying to do other things. I'm sure this game with the pistons. And bearings and stuff. I'm sure you could even go so far as to try and make walkers and that sort of thing. Uh, very similar to the way you do in Scrap Mechanic. But what I really... Oh, perfect. What I really like about this game, though, is the... Uh, just the fact that there's a lot more flexibility in what you build. Just with the angles that you're able to achieve. And, uh, you know, it's all going to be, like, purely mechanical stuff. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to try and build. I am going to keep going with the missions, obviously. I think the next mission involves going up some ledges or something like that. Or, uh... Or maybe it's like uh, smashing through a wall or something. I'm not sure. But there's definitely more objectives to be had in this game than just driving around. So make sure you guys hit that like button down below. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, let me know what your ideas are and thoughts are about this game. And uh, go check it out on the Steam page if you're interested. But uh, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time.